big old hawk. Sweet. <laughs> we'll give him center stage. All right. Hello, YouTubers. How y'all doing today? All you history lovers and adventure lovers and just plain old fun like fun my name is leo uh, and i will be your humble host today sweet toy huh <laughs> i am out today i'm actually i'm in a little place called elk creek west virginia just outside of a little town called del barton right back up that way uh, it's a little spot I'm, I'm semi-familiar with. We used to come down here when I was a little kid. That used to be, we called that, the neighborhood kids called that the Rainbow Bridge. And uh, this was like the furthest point. You know, this was a long ways out there. You know, we'd come down here and catch fish and stuff like that and play in the creek and, you know, walk the railroad tracks, you know, back and forth to get back home. And this was one of the furthest points out, you know, for, for little kids. You know what I mean. It was only a couple miles back up that way, but to us, it was a big deal. Anyway, I'm out here today. I am on a mission, actually. I've got two missions today. I'm looking for a lost person and uh, checking out an old historic graveyard. Got something really cool to share with you guys today. As a matter of fact, one of our favorite things, Heather and I, is hunting for these old historic, you know, whether they're historic or not, you know, could be just you and me. Anyhow, we, we like to go out and hunt for these old uh, undocumented graves. Graves with no photos or no record, you know, but we knew that the people existed. They're, they're kind of forgotten people, you know, that once lived and loved and did amazing things and finally just passed on but it's always a gamble when you come out here doing this right you you may end up with no gravesite at all but the adventure in looking is always its own reward though right it always seems to lead to other things and sometimes even more questions but either way their story still gets told in the best way that we can now, today, I, I'm out, like I said, I have two missions today. One, I'm out here to document an old graveyard right up here that has all sorts of find a grave open requests. Uh, there's a whole bunch of graves that have not been photographed. I mean, this is, you know, so imagine this was you, you know, you've never seen, this is the photograph, a, a grave site, a picture of your grandmother, your grandfather, your uncle, whatever. They're, you've never seen their gravesite, and so you put up on find a grave. You know it may be across the country or whatever. You may just not be able to get out, whatever. And you put up a request for a photo. And um, this graveyard it has a whole bunch of photo requests. And uh, the grave that we're looking for in particular today is, like I said, it's one that we knew existed. But it's never been photographed, if she even has one. Uh, I'll tell you more about it in a little while when we get there. But uh, for now, I'm searching for the undocumented gravesite of Hatfield and McCoy's, you know, feud patriarch, Randolph McCoy, Randall McCoy's baby sister. Now, like I said, there's, you know, there'll be more to it. There's more of the story, and I'll tell you when we get on up there and you know try to find it but there's it's there's two separate graveyards it should be really pretty it's by this amazingly beautiful old church and you know just a really pretty cemetery out in the middle of the woods and there's two sections a lower section and an upper section with probably a little better than 100 graves that you know that we know of probably more uh but, you know, it's, you'll find out when you get there, right? That's part of the thing, you know? You find out what's going on when you get there. That's, that's the goal, right? That's why we're out here. You know, we, we found quite a few. It's, it's cool that, you know, to get to come out here and do this kind of stuff. And, you know, it's a beautiful day. 
it's really nice it's about 65 i'm going to say something like that uh you can see trees are just starting to get just a little tiny hint of a green tint to a few of them and the dandelions are starting to bloom and all this kind of stuff before you know it it'll be summer guys a couple months about a couple weeks this place will look different in a few weeks from now but in a few months there will be blackberries and raspberries and all kinds of crazy stuff there goes that hawk again he's just cruising ain't he <laughs> okay, i've already been up a little ways about a mile or so on up and it just looked really cool and i wanted to get this on video and just kind of show this to you guys it just looks really really cool elk creek does uh, there's old buildings and all kinds of stuff and there's a dude that's got a, a horse in a carport up here <laughs> and it just looked wild you know there's straw on the ground you know the horse hanging out in the carport i thought y'all might want to see some of this it looks really interesting really pretty place but there's a lot of like i said new but new houses new stuff and old stuff right side by side The big one there. Big house. Barn. Look at the size of that. That's a nice little layout there, isn't it? An old barn there. Look at that one. Here. Houses, old company store houses, or uh, coal camp houses. There's a graveyard back there, but I don't think that's the one I'm after. I don't think. We may have to double check, but I don't think that's the one I'm after. But it's nice to know that I did spot it on the way, right? Pretty house. Got a garage across the street that matches it. Side by sides. <laughs> Welcome to West Virginia. I know people who don't own vehicles. <laughs> Pretty little community, isn't it? Very pretty place. An old garage there, cinder block. An old little one right beside of it, an older one. There's an old house. Check out the barn. Little chicken coop on the end. Now right there, look. See the horse? That is just cool. <laughs> Poor. You the rocks. Road goes right underneath that big overhang. there it's like that one's about had it ain't it and this was where I turned at and went back down so this is all new for me up here I came up I turned wow you need to go back down and show some of this stuff this is really cool you know some people may wonder you know hollers what is a holler this is a holler it's just a little narrow road going up between mountains and you know you'll have houses and stuff on either side in the wide spots pretty isn't it big greenhouse this place i'm looking for should be 
according to my GPS, about three minutes. And the big barn. The old one there, wasn't it? That is pretty. Coal truck or two. church I saw back there looked very familiar there's another graveyard up on the hill there don't believe nope that's Farley that's not it Daffodils blooming, dogwoods. That's nice. You get a little place out here off all off to yourself. Very few neighbors. The only thing about holler living, from my personal experience, is you have to be prepared for snow in the winter time. Other than that, it's not quarter mile according that's according to Siri now we've we've had issues in the past she's tried to send me to Canada a few times I don't know what it is about Canada but she's obsessed that's it right there that's the church if I can get in there back up that's the one I'm looking for guys I'll be right back check this out guys middle of nowhere beautiful old church look at that bell up top wow i bet there's been a lot of little picnics and stuff right here but this is the cemetery behind it now i've looked around a little bit just kind of get my bearings and I found a couple of them. Oh, by the way, there's a turkey right out through there. I've heard him gobble four or five times. Uh, squirrels, they're all through these trees, just zipping all over the place. Uh, this is a really cool little spot. Middle of nowhere, way up a holler. You know, every now and then a car will go by. But they're they're pretty rare. There ain't that many vehicles out here today. But, like I said, I did look around just a little bit, and uh, I wanted to find, to see what I could find about this particular grave. And we've got some, we have some information. Let me just check this one. I didn't, nope. Mm, sorry about the sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay. So like I said, today we're, we're out, we're looking for the undocumented grave site of Randall McCoy's little sister, Ruth Reese McCoy Farley. She was born in 1933, around eight years younger than Randall. Her father is Daniel McCoy and her mother is Margaret Peggy Taylor. She was one of 13 children that were said to have grown up with very little money, very, very poor. And I'm sure some of us can relate to that too. But uh, in 1860, 1856, excuse me, Ruth married Lieutenant William Anderson Ants Farley, and he's right back there. I'll show you his grave too. And they had at least 10 children. Uh, he was the son of William punch bill farley and nancy allen 
He was part of the Logan Wildcats, and the documentation goes like this. William A. Farley, resident of Logan uh, County, West Virginia, age 27, enlisted on 7-3-1861 at Logan County, West Virginia, as a private. On 9-3-1861, he mustered into D Company of the Virginia 36th Infantry. He was listed as wounded on 5-9-1864 at Cloyd's Mountain in Virginia. He was promoted to sergeant on 526 and then lieutenant on 921 of 1863 according to the Virginia regimental histories but life took a bad turn as it often does when in 1894 Ruth's 21-year-old daughter Minnie White died that's her right back there we'll get right to that Ruth was devastated and died five days later Ruth was devastated and died five days later. It was said that she wanted to be buried near her daughter. So Minnie is, you know, here we found her and we wanted to see if we could find, find Ruth as well uh, and William. If her family's here, then she is here too. I will also be documenting the cemetery, which has an upper and a lower Bacart part because it needs it very badly. Find the grave listings for the cemetery are very incomplete and it has 18 open photo requests as of right now. We will put the cemetery in the description if you want to check it out. Her, Will her husband William remarried that same year about three months after their deaths in July to Roxy Ellis Jackson on July 22nd, 1894. He died about a decade later in 1903. Now, when I came up here, like I said, I need a bug out of my eye, hang on. <laughs> now this was the one that I found right off the bat. This is Minnie, okay? This is Ruth's daughter right here, Minnie. Now, I kind of looked around. I found William's grave. He's right there. That was the Confederate. He was a Confederate soldier. We'll get to him just in a second. But now, like I said, this was this is Minnie's. And Ruth said that she wanted to be buried next to Minnie. Right? Or with Minnie. Now, I noticed this one's unmarked. This one's unmarked. This is not, you know, who we're after. And we're also... I'm also looking for a, a man named Comfort. Comfort White was Minnie's husband. Now, I found a C right here, but I don't think that's it. No, that, no, that's a crumb. Never mind. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. But anyhow, this is Minnie's grave right here. So this would be Randall McCoy's, uh, well, a niece. It says sister's. His, his baby sister's daughter, Randall McCoy's sister's daughter. So this is his niece right here. But we don't have 
unfortunately Ruth does not have one that I have found as of yet but as you can see there's a grave marker right here there's Minnie's grave there's one right here and you can see a sunken spot directly behind Minnie as well and something right there looks like there used to be maybe a cross I'm not really sure but it's wooden whatever it was and it's extremely rotten it's a post of some sort it feels like locust so I'm thinking it's a post now this is Williams here this is William Anderson Ants Farley right here and as you can see he has a, a CSA marker right beside of his stone as well Confederate States imagine that Confederate soldiers wow look at the, the Confederate flag right in the middle of that look at that that is wild that's been there a minute hasn't it that has been there for a little while born 1835 and died March 14th 1902 William A. Farley well we found we found two we didn't find Ruth and we didn't find comfort but just look at this beautiful old church man I can't it's all in ruins now but that is just gorgeous back up in here. I bet this was a beautiful place back in the day when this was all maintained. I bet this place was beautiful. But hopefully, when I get to uh, right here in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and document this graveyard. And like I said, all of the, the open requests will go ahead while we're at it. You know, that's just kind of become a thing now. Uh... <laughs> We just kind of go ahead and, you know, just do all of them and update everything and find the grave listings and connect everyone back to family and, you know, ancestry and various, various different things. Like I've mentioned before, we, we try to leave a pretty wide paper trail, you know, pretty wide breadcrumb trail, I should say. Not much paper involved. It's all digital. But it does look as though you know according to everything that was that we found ruth was buried right here and there are two spots so she's either there or right there probably most likely i guess she could be over there but she's here somewhere isn't she get everybody's lineage lined out and i'm sure that there are more many more historic stories and awesome tales to be told that are in here i mean it's like you meet any group of people if i meet you right now you know you probably got all kinds of stories you could tell right well every one of these has a story to tell every one of these stones represents a lifetime and some of them it's short but and some of them it's some of them are longer and they do amazing things, you know. Alright, I guess I better get to it. I've got my work cut out for me, as you can see. I've got quite a few, quite a bit of ground to cover, and it's would be uphill, wouldn't it? Okay, this is is father and mother okay i'm guessing that's those there uh magnolia and joseph 1874 to 1960 okay. 1898 to 1996 okay yeah this is edward e white 1892 to 
This is Comfort White. This is Minnie's husband. Comfort White. It's a pretty stone, isn't it? know how well you guys can see it but it's carved really nice until we meet again comfort white april 6th 1866 to september 27th 1939 uh, white c h a Y I can see the W A R D Ward Born in 1922 Died in 1922 Okay it's a stillborn Okay I should have noticed Up here there's What looks to be Possibly a lamb or something That's broken off the top This is James White November 20th, 1918, age 23. This could be a flu death, 1918. That one's not marked. And there's one in between as well that has nothing. This is Edith Catherine White. Look how that's carved out. Uh, February 23rd, 1918 to July 31st, 1919. The one year old. But now these, I'm not, looks like, looks like R-N-Y-O-N. All right, I guess I better get to it. I've got my work cut out for me, as you can see. I've got quite a few, quite a bit of ground to cover, and it's would be uphill, wouldn't it? No, no graveyards here are level, never. But anyway, guys, we'll talk to you a little bit later. You guys have a have a really good day. And this is Leo with the Hillbilly Files from a little bitty holler called Elk Creek out in West Virginia. And Leo out. See you later, guys.